Seventh grade TCAP practice test, question number 66 uh, in the seventh grade math section. The expression 300N, so they're giving me an expression here, I should probably, if they make note of it, I'm going to make note of it too, gives the number of uh, calories in N cups. So N cups here, uh, N represents the number of cups of dry oatmeal. What is the number of calories in two and a fourth cups of dry oatmeal? So if they give me an expression, I'm going to rewrite it. And they tell me that n is cups, so I'm going to put a parenthesis here where the n used to be. All I'm going to do is plug in the value they give me, because, you know, it's just a substitution question. They want to know, in this one situation, what could it be? The variable's there, because you could have as many cups of dry oatmeal as you could stomach, I guess, and then you could figure out the calories. But let's do 300, parentheses, 2 and 1 fourth, so you should get a total caloric value of 675. You could also use your brain a little bit here. Two and a fourth, so if I have 300 and there's two of those, the minimum amount it could be is 600, so this uh, 450 thing is out. If I did another 300, it would be 900. So it couldn't be any more than 900 if any of them happened to be that way. So the only choices that make any real sense, since I have 2 and a fourth, would be F, G, and H. And since 600 is exactly 2 cups and I have 2 and 1 fourth, that's out as well. So really, I'm just trying to work on whether it's 750 or 675. And you can break the 300 up into quarters if you want. So I do 300 times 1 fourth or divide by 4. and that gives me 75. So if I added the 600 plus the 75, I have 1 4, so it should give you 675. So the 750, way too much. But either way, um, you could just do it just as easy just by plugging it in. Just wanted to give you some perspective on the problem. Sometimes you don't have to work nearly as hard as it seems.